Hi guys, this is Olivia with Friends of Felix and today we are going to be making this rhinestone and resin notebook. You're gonna start out with two of the A6 sized notebook blanks and you're going to remove the paper backing from one. I'm going to go ahead and use vinyl on the back side of my rhinestone cover just so that it doesn't end up too thick. I got my blanks from Zindi, so they came with this file. I just used that file to cut some transparent glitter vinyl. I believe that Mizzy's Doodles also carries these blanks and she is actually the originator of the design that I will be showing you when we go ahead and do the rhinestone. Since the vinyl is so big, I just squirted a little bit of water down and I'm not even gonna use transfer tape. Um, it's pretty forgiving. You're just gonna apply one edge, kind of like the hinge method, smooth it down and use your squeegee as you lay it down to squeeze out any bubbles. Now that we've gone and completed the back of our front cover, you're gonna go ahead and take the protective paper coating off of the front of the cover. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a light sand. You don't have to go crazy. Just scuff up the surface a little bit to give something for your glue and your rhinestones to adhere to. Perfect, now that we've got the shiny finish, sand it off. I'm gonna be using a rub-on transfer from Southern Bell Designs. This is part of the Rescue Me series. This uh, collab was with Diamond Fire and Mizzy's Doodles. They came in the Diamond Fire Rhinestones Premier Pack and if you guys know me at all, I am absolutely obsessed with dogs and very passionate about dog rescue, especially seniors. And a portion of the proceeds from the sale of the mix that came in this pack 
will go to Senior Dog Rescue. So you're just gonna go ahead and cut out one of those decals. I'm gonna trim the edges a little bit. It's really not necessary. It's a clear backing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get an idea of where I want it placed. And then all you have to do is remove that white paper backing. It comes with a little stick, a tool to help you apply pressure. Go ahead and remove the paper backing and you're just left with the clear plastic sheet and the design. Go ahead and get that centered exactly where you want and stick it down. Go ahead and use that tool and apply gentle to medium pressure, rubbing over the whole design. Once you've got the design rubbed on, you're going to want to gently peel up that plastic cover. In this case, it, I used a dental tool to get under that edge. If you haven't rubbed hard enough or applied enough pressure, you'll see that plastic start to stick a little and pull up the design. So as I pulled, I added a little bit extra pressure. As I went over and checked my decal, I noticed that I had a couple of bubbles. And since we're gonna be covering this with transparent rhinestones, again, it's a super easy fix. I am just going to poke a couple of holes or slits with my X-Acto knife and rub the air out. So you're going to need transparent rhinestones. I used SS20s to go over the decal, and then you're going to want a bag or two of a mix size to go around the decal. I prefer to use Bob Smith Slow Cure Epoxy. You just need a pea size of each part, and you can mix it directly on a post-it note with a silicone mixing tool. So once you've got it all mixed up on your post-it note, you can go ahead and use your silicone mixing tool to apply it over the decal. You are going to want to start with your decal. And the trick is really just to get a medium layer of glue. You don't want it too thick or it will squish up between the stones when you lay them. You also don't want it to be too thin um, because it won't hold your stones.
All right, now we've got all of the transparent stones applied over our decal. We're gonna wanna go ahead and just do the same thing. Mix our glue and apply our stones with the mixed pack and just go around the decal filling in all of the spaces. I am using If You Know You Know Mix from Diamond Fire Rhinestones. So when I'm going along the edges, I overhang the stones a little bit, and then I actually just use the straight edge from the other cover to go ahead and straighten them out.
just go ahead and keep filling in with your rhinestones using whatever straight edge you have available to you to keep those rhinestones lined up nice and neat on the edges. Now while that is curing, we are gonna go ahead and mix up the glitter and epoxy for our back cover. I am using KS Resin Fast Set, and the glitter I'm using is Diamond Elite from the Diamonds and Dust Patreon exclusive group. This glitter is absolutely gorgeous and one of my favorite pinks. It's available only to exclusive Patreon members, so you guys should go ahead and check that out. You get all kinds of access to um, special exclusive files, exclusive tutorials. So I'm not normally a resin pourer, but I quickly realized that the fastest way to go ahead and get this accomplished would be just to pour the resin on and spread it with my gloved finger. Now I've got that applied, I'm gonna go ahead and sneakily try to remove that glove um, one-handed so that I can use my favorite little handheld torch from Menards to torch out the bubbles. Give it a quick torch, make sure you don't hold heat or flame in any one spot for too long so you don't scorch it or set it on fire, which I have done. So we're gonna go ahead and assemble our notebook. I used one and a half inch binder rings from Hobby Lobby. I also bought one inch, but I'm gonna use one and a half inch for my notebook since I will be using the entire paper and divider set that I got from Amazon. Now, after trying this a couple of times, I found the easiest way for me was to put all of the paper and accessories into the notebook with one binder ring and then close that one binder ring to hold it all up to get all together before going ahead and threading the other binder rings through as you'll see in the video.
I did go back in at the end to add the rest of the binder rings. I felt like having six binder rings just gave it a more finished look and it felt a little bit more sturdy for me. So I will go ahead and link all of the supplies down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys next time.